Hi, my name's Steve. I'm here at our Solutions Academy in Warwick. And for this week's Training Tuesday, we're going to be looking at changing the pressure reducing valve in a mega flow cylinder. So what is the function of the pressure reducing valve? It's to allow the cylinder to operate at the water pressures it's designed for. So why might you want to replace the pressure reducing valve? If you're experiencing low water pressure at your hot taps, that could indicate a problem. The other thing you may find is water discharging from your expansion relief valve when our cylinder is not under heat up. This could also indicate a problem with the pressure reducing valve. Firstly, I would check the strainer located inside the pressure reducing valve. And if you head over to our YouTube channel, Rob Pearson has already done a video on this. So now let's move on to replacing the pressure reducing valve itself. First thing we're gonna need is a bucket to catch any water. Two spanners. And a new pressure reducing valve. Firstly, we isolate the water into the cylinder and take the pressure off at the hot tap. So now we're ready to remove the pressure reducing valve. Using our two spanners, we're gonna undo the two compression nuts. Taking care to catch any water in our bucket. We can now fit our new pressure reducing valve, taking care to fit it in the correct direction. The arrow denotes the direction of flow. By simply doing up the two compression nuts. Again, using two spanners. Now we're ready to reinstate the water supply. Finally, we need to run the hot tap just to clear any air out. I hope that showed you how simple it is to change the pressure reducing valve on a Megaflow cylinder. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Training Tuesday. For more information, please contact your local area sales manager or head over to baxi.co.uk forward slash training.